Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nocte and this is Zaponia. So, let's go into this room. There's my key. Hey, dog. Oh. Ah, there you are. And, wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And, uh, what does one do with a, uh, Nero thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <laughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know, remerging the aspects of her character. Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? Uh, for the ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? What do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? Not at all. No problem. I can delay a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no, that throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus. This calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Ha, huh, for beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. Oh my god, really, really, Rufus. It was this easy to trick you. She's unconscious again, but this time it's part of the plan. I'll save you, and then it's off to Elysium. Hey, Doc. For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, um... How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you... <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth for relay, right? Um, exactly. Hey, what would you ever do without me? <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to get again? Um, a mammoth fur... whoop de doo Plasma... Uh... <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I'm supposed to get a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. I would never forget such an important assignment. Okay. I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. I agree. May I borrow your bag? Sure. Go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Intercom. Actually, no, I won't use it yet. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. Okay. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. 
Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Oh my god. Such an asshole. I love it. Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Ah, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, oh, it's not the end of the world. <sighs> the world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression, too. Then. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? You must be freezing. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat, and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely gonna sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Fuck. I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus. You aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. Oh, no. I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough. Blue tongue. Got it. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. Especially when you do that thing with your <laughs> After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus, I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking <laughs> of which... How come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I'm sure that he either has no legs at all, or they are tiny. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't! You just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes! <laughs> ah, do whatever you want. Okay. That thing with your legs! Ugh. Anything but that! <laughs> Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? You heard that? Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain, wheat in the right. <laughs> yeah, ain't I something? <laughs> if you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the basement. Eh, uh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. Uh, bait fish or something. <laughs> uh, 
sorry. I've got to go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. <laughs> My eyes are smarting already. <laughs> Where is the coat? Oh, there. He won't accept it. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink. But, well, for a real pirate. You? A poo convinced you? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm on a face command. Ah, now I'm definitely. I don't even. Fuck, um, okay, so that's why I changed the heater. I should turn it off, seems like it. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. Okay. I'm. What? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well, that's different then. <laughs> What's your room number? Uh, five. Room five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoopty do mammoth fur relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Yes. I'd like to eat something. <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But well, what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Uh, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come. Provided <laughs> the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Hello, reception. Always. What's your room? Hey, let's see. Room one. Room one. That's impossible. Room one hasn't been rented out. And there are no voices from the beyond there either. Unlike in the other rooms, come up with a better story. Oh, did I say room one? <laughs> no, of course, I meant room three. Ah, I finally got a hold of you. I've got a number of complaints about you here. Noise disturbance, odor disturbance, regular disturbance, molestation. Oh, no. Wait, those are about me. Whatever. More importantly, you still haven't paid for your delivery. Why do you need all those chickens anyway? Uh, did I say room three? Uh, no, of course, I meant room nine. Whoa! The demons from the cursed room! Well, the most cursed. Why can't you just leave me alone? I've done everything you demanded. The old married couple, the friendly author, even the young actress, all dealt with. All right, I didn't put fresh sheets on your beds, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, did I say room nine? Uh, no, of course, I meant room one. That's room oh, uh, no, of course. Okay, so he Oops. remember that. <laughs> no. But this was interesting to see to this hotel's work. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo All right. Okay. Let's see what Bozo carries around. Underwear? A three-person tent? No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But, hey! What's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? I got a shampoo! Those flaky scales sure look a lot like dandruff. Dr. Queasy's Pep Snack contains at least 20% pepper. Also try Dr. Queasy's Reptile Chow, Dr. Queasy's Bait Bugs, and Dr. Queasy's All-Purpose Roaches. Hmm. One causes coughing, the other sniffles. <laughs> that makes 50% of the symptoms of whooping box. <laughs> this plan, but I- Okay, what could be the last one that I need for the it? The only thing this dust can do is trip, but it does that very well. 
I need blue talk. Two space. One thing causes cough. The other that makes fifty. One thing cough. That makes. I don't need to put everything. Wait. Oh. This planet. Oh. I'm care if that. Those flip. Uh huh. Wait, I did not want to wash it. That already has enough to let's just hope those are all toothpaste stains. Yeah, let's hope. Anyway, I wanna try something. He's already done his thing. Much too clean for a pirate. <coughs> huh, you see? I knew you'd catch a cold. Rubbish. It's just the dust. I have an allergy. Well then, we found just the right hotel for you, didn't we? Huh? 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 You see? I knew you'd catch a cold. Ah, uh, rubbish. That's just pepper that you tossed in my face. And I don't even want to know why you did that. Well, let's call it curiosity. I wouldn't call it anything, or there will be tears later. Can I? Oh, I think I need to throw everything from behind him somehow. So he doesn't know what I'm, what I'm doing. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what if I fail? Oh. I? Can I use this, please? Can I climb through the window? No, I can't. Shampoo? Not a single hair in the hood, but where else? <laughs> but I can't I'm think Absurd humor is okay in itself, but I can't waste this unique opportunity. I'm thinking of the fans who love I have no idea what to do with him. Can I get a pie? Bozo. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. This what maybe? A bummer. The vending machine only takes coins. But how could I get any coin? I don't have any coin shaped objects either. Now it contains nothing but Bozo's underwear, and that doesn't fit me. But the color looks good. <laughs> Rufus one. Okay. Ready, uh, May I? My goodness, pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stuff your big mouth. Maybe this? Yeah, I could use that to stuff his mouth. But then, how would I ever get at the fish? I don't even know. This pillowcase is full of lice. It's suitable for exactly two things. First, to get a daycare center under quarantine. And second, to cover a pillow. This pillowcase first. And second, not the not there's a this pillowcase first and second wait this there time for a break herring breath <laughs> that's what you get bird brain Ugh, slimy i got fish it doesn't look all that bad to me and i'm sure the smell will go away when it's cooked let's see if i can make something tasty out of it yeah, it consists entirely of fermented gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Everyone said I'd get flaky skin if I didn't wash. Now this fish spends its whole life in the water, and yet... <laughs> before, on a scale... I knew it. Toothpaste is useless. That smells spicy and... Before, on a... This situation... Big difference. Those flaky scales. Before, on a... Okay, none of these are options. 
Nope, there's no way I'm sticking my hand in there again. It still smells like fish. Uh, no. Wait, that, that, that's my feet. Okay, so I did everything here. And I got a fish. Where could I use that? That's my question. What was his problem? Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheep... Hey, nice... Keep your hands off! Do you need it much as long as you're... Bye, which I should excuse me. Um, uh, oh, that's bad. Okay, so what if I... Give this ghost scales? He's assuming his story is true. He's what? no longer in need of worldly goods. Assuming his story is true. He's no longer... Assu I think I need to bring light here, but that's a guess. No answer. No an I can think of a thousand, but the designer seems to have foreseen all of them. Apparently, word of my skills has gotten around. Hmm. Let's go out. Can I use this as sort of paper? Ah, oh, the Here, pelican is there. This should work. Mm. Possibly. Oh, but uh, only if you promise to take it to the laundry for me afterwards. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll find something better. Underwear. <laughs> Great idea. But should I really re have here? Oh. <laughs> Man, you Jurassic. Fuck no. Oh, you can't. Uh, I have a. Scales. You can't even wipe your butt with this junk. Cause yeah, I need something to help him wipe his butt. What do they need? Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Is this gonna take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever get hungry? We're hunger for absolution. We thirst for salvation. Ah, well, uh, how about some canapes instead? I think I need to do something with the uh, fortune teller. Get this. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, oh. oh, that's the last thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange will be do mammoth fur relay? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Okay, that's really good to know actually. Seems like room number one is taken finally. I better stay undercover. As long as Oppenbot is in reception, I better stay under cover. How to get rid of him? Oh, there's the bag. Hmm. If I just take it, what's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. I have an idea. Hmm, I'm curious. Hmm, rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Ah! Money! 
I got funny. There's nothing but broken. And now that I took his money, that's what he is broke. I don't need any coffee, and conveniently, that's what we have here. No coffee. Time for the next fa- okay, I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna check out Cletus. But first... I don't think I can use it here. What a bummer! The vending machine only takes coins. Wait... I have an idea! Hey! I have some toilet paper. Here, this should work. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha! Thank you. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, <laughs> end times person. Hey, halt! Stop! Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. What am I supposed to do? A fishing expedition? In there? He didn't even flush. Holy junk, the flush isn't working right. There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. I think that's the leak, maybe. Wait, so the pelican is... Oh. Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. And that was in braille. <laughs> Come on. It may be a little... Oh. Wait a second. There. Clean again. And a little smaller. Man, this toilet paper really is extra rough. Come on. It may be a... Oh, there. And a little... Man. Come on. It may... Oh, there. And a little... Man, this... Why is that good? What am I supposed... A fish... Ugh. He did... Can I just dump this in? Okay, okay. I get it. I just carry around a bunch of filth. Ha ha. Can't remember when I laughed so hard. Okay. Gonna buy the pie for Bozo. Right there. Ah, oh, rats! The coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? What? That really is a bit rough. Maybe. Ha! It worked. Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. <laughs> yeah. Finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. Don't eat it. I think I'll let Bozo go first. Good. And here we have a very special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk averse cooks. Ah, you can never have enough pepper. <laughs> oh, don't panic. Oh, it all landed on the pie. Here, I need the blue now. Icing on the pie. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. Can I maybe add this as well? Number four. On a scale from one to ten. How is the time? Time is, well, good enough. Let's hand this to Bozo, and then he will take the coat. And we'll have a towel. Oh, Bozo! What got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. I'm sick with hunger. You know, blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Looks like whooping pox. You should have put on your clothes, like I told you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With some pie in my stomach, things will look completely different. Well, can I have the pie now? Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Oh, I missed something. Those flaky scales sure look a lot. 
I actually thought toothpaste. What do I miss? This situation is a different. Bag like genuine. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. Hello? Anyone out there? Um, no. J just the wind. <laughs> that was to be expected. Not even the wind knows how to behave here. <laughs> okay, I know what to do. Hello, reception? Always at your sir. Room one. Room one. Oh, the inspector again. If this is about the bedding, those aren't spots. Just a pattern, which reminds me, do you often sleep with your mouth open? If so, then... Yeah, 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 fine. This isn't about the bedding. Ah, all the better. How can I help you? Is our laundry done yet? How should I know? I thought it was part of the service. Ah, the service. Yes, I've heard a lot about that, but nothing that has convinced me that it actually exists. <laughs> I suggest you pick up your laundry yourself, instead of relying on some mystic new age pipe dream. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to dine now. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you selected something for the menu? You have kept your menu, haven't you? Oh, the, the menu? Yes, you got it here at reception. You are Inspector Cletus, aren't you? I mean, of course I'm Inspector Cletus. Who else? Uh, slimy hair, slimy character, uh, uh, has no appetite anymore. Uh, uh, would rather talk about something else. Uh, uh, <laughs> Cletus, yes, in the flesh. I would like to speak to my assistant. Yeah, of course. I'll send him down to your room if that's all right. Oh, why don't you? And... I tell him to sing the dum bum song on the way. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank you. At last. Now reception should be free. I just have to make sure I don't run into that open bar. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum. Oops. Who are you? I, uh. Oh! 30% off on paper clips. What? Where? Rats. Perfect. The coast is clear. Well, except for oil leaks, mold spores, and general carbon monoxide pollution. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Hello? Room. Uh, how can I? Uh, I would like to order something sinfully expensive sent to my room. Mm, actually, we don't offer any services in this hotel. But if you want, I can simply tack on a horrendous surcharge to your bill. The item will then appear as an accounting error. Oh, that would be very nice. Oh, uh, no problem. I would have done it anyway. Standard procedure, if you know what I mean. Can I do anything else to you? <laughs> I would like to. Yeah, I'll send them down to your room. Oh, why? And a I'll pass. thank you. At last, I just. Yeah, the doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim dum bum. Yes, what is it? You summoned me to your room. No, I did not. But you did. You just called to reception. I would certainly know what I have or have not done. I'm starting to think you're suffering from acute processor overload. But I heard your voice myself. If you aren't sure what my voice sounds like, then listen, and listen well. Never bother me again without a good reason. Understood? Yes, of course. But... But what? Perfect. Ah, the guest from number five. Don't worry, the headaches go away after a few days. What? Uh, no, I I'm here about the menu. <laughs> that's funny. Most guests are gone because of the menu, you know? And our old cook is even in prison because of the menu. Can I have the menu or not? Lickety shit. You just have to sign this waiver form first. <laughs> ah, that's a snot rag. 
Yeah, well, there are just too many possibilities for being harmed by our meals. A form would be way too much work. And our lawyer suffers from depression. So we just copy the guest signature onto the appropriate waiver later. Very economical thinking. And please sign with a W in front. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Woofus? Yeah, the drawer for R is stuck. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum. Well, folks, I've got to go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I didn't get my menu. Uh -uh. And what can I do with this knot? That would work. Not. Hmm. I was thinking about losing it, maybe. Anyway, that was all for this episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll continue from here in the next one. Bye.